Hey guys, back here poolside. Uh, unfortunately not quite ready for uh, the opening pool party of the season. Uh, if you caught our video last week, we started the removal of this skimmer on the Gunite Concrete Pool here. The uh, goal today is to finish up the demo job, so we're going to get all the concrete removed that's encasing this skimmer currently. Get the entire skimmer body removed uh, from the pool shell. Uh, we'll probably be removing the bridge, the coping, and go ahead and bust straight through here. So hopefully we'll capture that pretty good for you all on video. Um, I'm sure there's a number of different ways to go about doing this, you know, with uh, different types of saws or big jackhammers. Really all I've got right now is a Bosch rotary hammer drill. I've got it set to hammer only. I've got a couple different bits for it. Um, I found really the one with the point to be more effective, but sometimes I've been switching back and forth between um, more of a chisel tipped bit and the, and the point here. Um, over the weekend, we're gonna keep working. Um, got my new Hayward skimmers delivered. These are a skim master. So we're gonna start to figure out how well these are gonna fit in once we get the skimmer out. Uh, try to film that a little bit and show you guys. I'll give you some information on where I got this skimmer from. Um, we'll take a closer look at it later, but if you saw the video last week, I'm gonna try to set up a little bit of a different angle. Uh, so hopefully you can see the job progress here. We'll do another time lapse. Um, hopefully you find it interesting and helpful. Um, good shout out to the folks at Trouble Free Pools. I've been getting a lot of great information from their website. If you're considering doing any type of maintenance, either yourself or with a contractor, I encourage you to check out their site. They've got a really great community that's highly engaged. Um, make sure you're on the right track. So we'll get set up here, um, show you guys how we progress. You just kind of saw there, we went ahead and removed the, the coping and the bridge over the skimmer. So I'm going to give you a close-up view of that because we're going to keep actually busting a little bit more out. Um, if you're not doing really a full renovation on your pool, you obviously don't want to be removing your coping. You want to be very careful in your demolition work if you're in a situation where you have to be replacing your skimmer. Um, in my case, we are doing a full refinish, so the entire inside of the pool is going to be hydroblasted. Um, so I don't have to be too worried about over demoing as I'm as I'm removing and replacing these skimmers so keep that in mind if you're just looking at a skimmer replacement job your approach is going to be quite a bit different than what I'm doing here um, so with that let me give you a close-up view um, when you hear the term bridge uh, really bridge means this piece of material that's carrying the bond beam across the skimmer so as you saw I was able to remove the red brick coping um, I just kind of Used the demo hammer a little bit to loosen up the grout, used a pry bar to, to kind of bust it up. It came out pretty easy. Um, this bridge is really just a piece of stainless steel or aluminum, I guess. Um, it was really just sitting here um, somewhat in the mortar bed, but it, it came out really easily. So this bridge sits here and your coping then is laid, laid over it to carry across the opening of the skimmer. So with that removed, We've got a really good view of the skimmer throw. And what we're gonna do next um, is really remove this section that you see here. And what's underneath this section, I'll show you on the new skimmer. What's underneath that section is this top plastic part of the skimmer. So I'm gonna go ahead and just bust through here with the demo hammer and completely remove this section so that when I'm setting my new skimmer, I don't have any obstruction um, in, in my view of where I want to set it in relation to the skimmer throat, and I'll be able to really fully encase um, 
the top and sides of the skimmer, the new skimmer body with, with concrete. So we're gonna go ahead and get back to the time-lapse sequencing. Uh, what you'll see next is us really removing this piece. Um, it's kind of got a little slow going to get the rest of the skimmer out, so I think by having this out, I can really just start to, to get a little bit more aggressive to get the rest of that skimmer body out. We'll get the hole dug out, and then we should be in pretty good shape to start setting the new skimmers. So we'll get back to it. Well, I think the time lapse may have stopped before I actually got done. I'm not sure what happened. Um, but I'm going to call this skimmer demoed. Took me probably about five total hours. I worked some on it last weekend. Basically finished it up today. Um, as I get ready to set the new skimmers, I'll probably do a little bit more cleanup here and figure out exactly what I want to do um, on the sides here. As I got the old skimmer out, I just cut the main suction line that was connected to it. I'm gonna be running new plumbing while I'm doing all this. So I'm gonna completely replace that plumbing line. Um, <clears throat> on the front of my skimmer, as I got it off, I realized it had this line going through the pull shell. I don't know if this used to be an equalizer line or if this used to be connected to a main drain or for some reason it was just stubbed in um, and actually never did anything. Uh, I've never known it to do anything. I don't think I can tell on the inside of the surface where there's been any patch or, or plugging of a, a previous equalizer line. So I'll figure out a little bit what's going on with that and what we're going to do about it. But um, hopefully you found the first part and this part kind of helpful to see just the progression of removing a skimmer. Um, as I said, wrapping up the last video, definitely a lot of work. Um, you can do it DIY. I'm, I'm DIY all the way. So can be done, but uh, it's definitely a big job. So make sure you know what you're doing. Make sure you uh, got the right tools and the right safety gear. Um, so guys, the next set of videos will probably be us starting to prepare the grade around the pool um, for the new paver deck. I'll do another video on the new Hayward skimmers, as I mentioned. And then as we get ready to set those, plumb them, and actually reinstall them and entomb them in concrete, we'll make sure to film that as well. Hope everybody's having a good weekend. See you guys again soon.